Alright folks, this is Dr. Marnese back with uh, a little more Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. I think what I'm going to do is... The idea has been wrapping around my mind a little bit. I think I'm going to create a... My version of the Battle of Simtar. The very first battle scene in the first episode of the original series of Battlestar Galactica where most of the colonial fleet is destroyed except for the Galactica. So, uh, let me go ahead. It's not going to be fully accurate because technically a different universe, but uh, we're going to go into Skirmish, and we're going to the settings here, and we'll uh, see what we can create. Let's see what the, let's see what the uh, Colonial Fleet could have done had it not been so, uh, had not been ordered, not every ship had been ordered to stand down by the President during that time period, so let's maximize our points here. Let's go to the frontier. Uh, yeah, that works. Go to the frontier. Proceed. We'll modify the fifth fleet. Oh, wait, no. Go back. Modify the fleet. Create a new fleet. Call it the Simtar Group. It's going to be a colonial. Create. We're going to add some ships. I'm going to stick with the Artemis class. Add her here. Uh, the Atlanta is up forward, I think. This is a different Battlestar name. Well, I'm just going to add a bunch of Battlestars. That's too bad you can't change the name of these ships. I believe there were... I don't know. It was the Atlantia, the Columbia, the Galactica. There's more over here. So we have a maximum of five Ballastars. I think there was only five present at this battle to begin with. So we're doing good. I'm gonna switch out for torpedo ordnance. have enough points for that. Yeah, one of them was named the Hyperion, so... I think that's it. So we'll stick with the Viper Mark 1s.
we'll save that. Confirm. Back. So we we'll use the Simtar group. Continue. Really? <laughs> now it allows custom built uh, battle groups? Really? Of all the things. Uh. Alright, what's going on here? No, I went too far back. Damn. I'm just gonna skirmish. That was my mistake. Back to the frontier. Proceed. Cylon fleet. Modify fleet. So we'll modify this. Cylon fleet. Simtar. Ambush. Okay. Let's create. And we'll have Base Star. Friggin' huge. I think I can only have a maximum of seven ships, so, uh... So this is gonna be interesting. No, oh, no, oh, I exceeded my point value. Same chance.
confirm. So we'll go back. We'll select the Centaur group. They were in a line formation. That works. So, we're gonna have big ships against big ships in this battle. Uh, in the original series, they didn't use space fighters. Thousands of them. Refuel. And then launch the attack. The group on is the, jumping uh, in three, two. Colonial fleet who was one. lured in because they thought, you know, this was supposed to be a peace mission. You know, about to sign a treaty with the Cylons to end the thousand yarn or thousand year war yarn. So, you know, they used use back then. So, there we go. And I guess you could say that this uh, outpost right here is where, where the treaty is supposed to be signed, but no, 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 we're about to get our asses handed to us. Uh, let's wiggle a little bit. Yes, sir. Let's bring you down. Let's bring the entire fleet down. I want our main guns online. Yes, sir. Let's bring your ship to port just a little bit. Full speed. Bring the Hyperion to port. Important thing is not to Onic, let your Mander. ships collide. Down. Uh. Did you pilot launch our Vipers? So this is a prepared. Colonial group. Nah. No Boltar telling us, oh, it must be a selling welcoming committee. Let's, like, not shoot at them. Nope. Pauses in front. Okay. I'm not gonna fire my torpedoes just yet. I'm gonna have my Vipers. Move out, because I, I know what's going to happen. They're going to launch torpedoes. And the sound of smart to fire in tandem. So one turn to fire, one set of torpedoes. Next turn to fire, another set. So they can keep up a constant barrage. And the key thing is to bring my ships as close as possible to silent base stars. They're slow, my ships are fast, so I'll meet them quicker. I'd be prepared to use our flak and torpedoes. So I'll launch fighters here, then I'll launch torpedoes next turn. Then we'll start up our flak. Alright, so let's end the turn. And they're launching fighters too. Key thing is to use my battle star's speed to my advantage. All right, so let's uh... squadron target is confirmed. Target that one Understood. single squadron. <laughs> Try to get our Vipers out. Give them 
something to shoot at. Pretty aggressive, but base stars, at least in this game, don't have a whole lot of firepower. Which is weird, so base stars are always like the superior counterpart to battle stars. But I guess in this universe, not so much. They're purely carriers. Understood. Alright, so our Vipers got their marching orders. Let's continue the stand is heading now. Let's start maneuvering down some more. Idea being Understood. Keeping the enemy from getting a drop on us. I don't need to boost engines, thankfully. Those ships are far faster. And much more maneuverable. I'll keep the Hyperion in this heading. And I won't fire torpedoes just yet. Right, I'm launching a second wave of fighters. These are base ships, I could be firing torpedoes at them. I think that's what I'll do. Alright. This might not be the best formation for torpedo launches. So say we all. I'll allow the lead three ships of fire torps. Yeah, that'll work. So Paulus, torpedoes, missiles on their way, fire. Hyperion, torpedoes, fire. Which one's this one? Aether, torpedoes, fire. And let's end the turn. In the next turn, they will be replying back with torpedoes. Oh, I'm starting to get some hits. Like I said, base stars are freaking huge. Very, oh, there's some lag there. Very hard from the outmaneuver. So let me uh, shift course back. Do yes, a single, and We're gonna do what I call wiggle waggle. Try to present a difficult target for. Enemy torpedoes. I think the Salons know this. The AI knows this. That's why they haven't fired their own. Yes, Commander. Yes, sir. Down. Thank you. 
Ursula Bombo. Lower your altitude and let the aft Battlestar fire its missiles. And let's end the turn. Yep, incoming missiles. Missiles incoming! Ooh. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. Flat guns. Port side, fire. Bring her on that aspect, thank you. Oh, I mean, that's close to my vipers. Ha! <laughs> She's taking damage all across. Jesus. Alright, you know what? The aft battle stars are gonna accelerate their speeds. Should have done this earlier. Increase speed. Break off the starboard airship. Increase speed. Break off the starboard. From the starboard. So and say we all. Boost your thrusters. Lower yourself down just a little bit. You. There. Lower yourself down further. Increase power to the defense systems. I want my bastards to not fire their torpedoes. That's too much of a chance. And turn. Artemis is taking damage. Cancel your flak. Missile tubes prepped. Armor on our port side is gone. And I got no part of navigation, so she's dead. Yes, Commander. Yes, sir. That's funny, Bert, she can still fire torpedoes. That's cool. Artemis is taking damage. Yeah, she's dead. And there goes the Battlestar Atlantia. Where she is now. Squadron has gone dark. Raider squadrons, very TOS style. I mean, I think we're doing good. Missiles on their way. Quit boosting, increase power to your defense systems.
Yes, Commander. Yeah, stay in that heading. No. Missiles no. incoming. Oh, God. My period. My standard for the Galactica is getting wrecked. Uh, and these fighters decided to move over here. Uh, she ain't gonna be able to dodge these missiles. They're already hitting. Although they're not doing as much damage. Down angle. Uh, try to dodge as many. I think we're gonna take them all though. IFF confirms unit is hostile. Artemis is taking damage. IFF confirms unit is hostile. Damn. Commence repair, repairs and navigation. Helm bring us about. Yes, Commander. Uh, missiles fire on that base star. Torpedoes. Understood. Fire on that base star. Bring us in. So say we all. Increase attack to full. I think our vipers. About to win. We're all here. All engaged. We might win a day with Vipers. I don't know. We'll see. Base stars are heavily armed with missiles. But they don't have too many guns on them. Good call pulling around full defense. Artemis is taking damage. Ooh. Yes, sir. We have air superiority. Yes, we do. All right, select target. Yep. Squadron target is confirmed. Yes, sir.
Squadron target is confirmed. Yes, Commander. On it, Commander. Understood. Missiles incoming! Missiles incoming! Artemis is taking damage. Artemis, down. There goes the Hyperion. Oh god, those missiles. Missiles incoming! Still have unidentified Dreyas contact, Jesus. Alright, I'm about to do something really stupid with this battle star. Your armor is almost gone. Oh, there goes the slinger. Viper is at uh, fire flak to port. Try to slip underneath them. Make ourselves a full defense. We're gonna target her. I know it. On it, Commander. Torpedoes. Fire. La Bombo. Uh, bring her heart over. Fire flag to starboard. Fire our torpedoes. No, no. On the current. Take a turn. Artemis is taking damage.
don't mind that windows, they just had more ships. She's about to go. It's damaged. So say we all. That's not gonna work. How damaged are you? Do a suicide run. Boom! I think we got her. But no, no, we didn't do any solid hits. Alright, go to full defense. Uh, commence flak. It was supposed to be a silent victory anyways. Are they out of missiles? So say we all. Nope, there aren't. I misjudged the timing. Now I'm gonna pay for it. Ooh, okay, we're dodging. Not by much. Navigation's out. <sighs> Torpedoes fire on their world. Yes, Commander. There goes one base star. There's two base stars. Some navigation. So say we all. Fire flak, port side, just in case. That's for you. Left armor is almost gone. Focus fire on the Halsey. God, it's a weird name for a Cylon base ship. Black AA worked. Oh, that's beautiful. Alright, that's a good show. Good show. Alright. Still in the fight. Cancel flak. Let's bring you around. On it, Commander. 
It's those missile alpha strikes that do the most damage. Keep that heading. There's so much wreckage. Just base ships and battle stars just friggin' annihilated. It's beautiful. I think we might actually win this. We can keep up our fire. See our point defense guns trying to pick her off. What kind of shots are those? What is this? There you go, keep up the fire. I think she means the ram. She's definitely looking like it. Uh, I forgot what turn is this. Let me go over here. On it, Commander. Let's fire a flak. Just in case. Bring you here. Torpedoes, fire, point blank range. This is a gamble. I don't know if she can take it. Let's bring it to full defense. We'll end our turn. Alright, base ship destroyed. Oh, we took out the other base ship too? How the hell? Oh, that was Vipers that did that. All right, so we lost three battle stars. We were able to take out what was it six base ships? So I'm not even worried about it. That's crazy. Uh, let's focus on the Hamet. Or the Bombo, the one that took no damage whatsoever. So our guns did 50% of her damage. Alright, let's view the replay. I want to see that. <laughs> Game's like, whoa, what's going on here? So there we are, launching our Vipers. That was a devastating strike against that battle star. Oh, some of their own missiles hit their own ship. I didn't realize that. This was torpedoes are freaking devastating. And there goes our first base ship. And here we go, broadside in one of the base ships. That is a beautiful sight. Fire port guns as she comes to bear. Boom. Destroyed.
that wreckage. I was a surprise missile barrage. I didn't see that coming. Almost took out the armor on the left side. And there we go. Fleck AA finally working. Finally doing his damn job. the dynamite. Then yeah, I guess the Vipers are the ones that finish off that last ship. So that was a beautiful battle. That was, that was mwah, even though we were outnumbered and outgunned. Well, missile-wise we're outgunned. Battle Stars inherently have more guns on them. Okay, I only saw like maybe Base Star only has a maybe what eight guns on it. Uh, uh, Battlestar has that many on top of her ship, not including what's forward and on the bottom. So uh, a Battlestar and base ship fight should be able to win the day. All right, so that's 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 gonna rush battle right there. My rendition to Battle of Semtar, if uh, the Colonial Fleet was uh, a little more prudent in launching its Vipers in one battle. Alright, I'll catch you guys next time with uh, maybe another playthrough, who knows. Maybe even a campaign. But uh, I'll check you guys out later. Peace.